I'm Steve Carr. I currently teach at the Lincoln Public Schools Information Technology Focus Program. You can think of that as a magnet school. Students come from all six Lincoln Public Schools high schools to our location to take computer classes that aren't available at their regular high school. I currently have uh, five different remote sites uh, with students taking either advanced programming languages courses or digital graphic design courses. Uh, those students are incorporated into the regular curriculum that I teach and so they're taking the class just right along with my uh, local students. And, and on our particular system we use life-size cards to connect to the remote sites. Uh, that goes through the Internet 2 uh, broadband system and we use uh, either Mac or PC, Windows machines to do the, deliver the instruction. I can either watch what they're doing uh, and lead them through a particular technique or I can actually take control of their screen and do the, the process for them. Uh, so we have a lot of different applications that are available to help deliver that instruction over the, over the distance learning network. If you have a school and they only have two or three students that are interested in programming, you really can't devote a classroom and a teacher and the computer equipment that's necessary to provide instruction for those two or three students. Uh, it's just cost prohibitive. Being able to use uh, distance learning, you can pool all of those students into one group and with the funding that we have now, you can provide the access through the uh, carts, uh, the, the connections and so on and so forth to provide those opportunities to those students. So it doesn't matter what school they're at within the state. Uh, they can take advantage of whatever they want, whatever their goals are. What we're doing today, which is synchronous instruction, audio and video, very high quality, uh, high definition quality video, audio, there, there's just no comparison. It, I wouldn't be able to do uh, the types of distance learning classes that I do now without that capability and without the, uh, the advances that have taken place.